guys, it's N60 Sean. It is all kicking off. Let's let's take you guys back to how we got to this point in our in our pre-season story before our heroes and villains season. Uh, the N100K Championship was on the line. Chargy and uh, Business Turtle were going one-on-one -on -one for the N100K Championship until the Captain Fanta in Captain Dew and the Soda Squad, representing the villains, attacked. Business Turtle and Chargy after the match. All kicking off and Business Turtle just getting the hammer out. Chargy sending them through the barricade, but then more villains arrive as the Five Nights at Freddy's crew turn up to attack Chargy and Business Turtle at the end of their N100K title match. But, but, this four on two advantage would soon be rectified as coming to the aid of our brand new N100K champion, Chargy, and the former N100K champion, Business Turtle. It was the one and only, the king of Five Nights at Freddy's with Darkaplier in tow as well. Markiplier coming to the aid of Chargy and uh, Business Turtle. And this is what Heroes and Villains season is gonna be all about. It's gonna be unlikely partnerships taking on this villainous threat which has descended into the N60 universe and Mark is flying in on Bonnie. So we've got Markiplier, we've got Darkplier, we've got Chargy and we've got Business Turtle facing off against the Five Nights at Freddy's crew in an impromptu Faction Wars match. Faction Wars matches, these are the rules. The uh, it's, one, it's not one fall to a finish, it's elimination. You have to pin everybody on the other team to win. And it's uh, Markiplier against Bonnie facing off here, sending Bonnie to the outside. And Darkiplier just putting Bonnie into the ring there and giving him a little cheap shot from the outside. Springtrap trying to get involved here. Springtrap trying to get involved, but Foxy shoving down the referee and just managing to sneak in and take out Mark. Sly little Foxy from the Five Nights at Freddy's crew. Oh, hang on, Bonnie's got Markiplier. Send him for the right choke slam straight into the middle of the ring as Chargy and Foxy are going at it on the outside. That's one, two, and oh, I thought Markiplier could be just making an early exit here. Kick out it too. Bonnie after that choke slam, and now sending Markiplier into enemy territory here. Markiplier sent into the enemy corner, and now Chica is being tagged in here. And what kind of double team is this? <laughs> what is this nonsense? From Chica and Bonnie and uh, Chica now the legal chicken animatronic thing uh, anyway Chica's on and chopping with those wings with those fried chicken wings to uh, Mark and Mark going for the Hurricane Rana sends Chica into the uh, into the enemy corner which allows him to buy some time to tag in the former N100K champion, the winner of the N100K Heroes Rumble, Business Turtle, who has just already gone through an N100K title match against Chargers. There's been no rest here, people. They've gone straight into this match. So Business Turtle and Chargy, who are opponents mere minutes ago, are now teaming up to face off the Five Nights at Freddy's crew. And that is gonna have to be the key for anyone to be victorious here. The heroes are just gonna have to work together to take down this villainous threat. And look at Business Turtle just taking down all that. He just took out like two Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics in one punch. But Chica now, pile driver, and not just a pile driver, like a package pile driver as well, driving the head of Business Turtle into the map. Oh, he just slugged him there with the right hand. And the double chicken wing foul Nelson face buster. No, not face buster. Full Nelson buster from Chica, who then also drops a sent on splash to Business Turtle. And now tags in Springtrap. The terrifying looking Springtrap. As Chica now is sizing up Business Turtle. Look at this. This is a double team situation. Business Turtle is in a lot of trouble here. He's already been pinned for three already. And now Springtrap is going to work on the Business Turtle's brethren over here. Darkapply and Markiplier are taking right hands. Chargy's also been taken out. And now Springtrap has always punched his own teammate in the face. And now the claw. Oh my days. He literally like had like Business Turtle by the eyes. And now he's hooked the leg. But now here comes Chargy, the new N100K champion, coming to the aid of Business Turtle, sliding into the ring there and breaking up the pinfall. And now Springtrap has Business Turtle. Oh, hang on, this doesn't look good. Shades of 
Jack Septicai, my career with the Emerald Flosion, planting business turtle. And now he's just disposing of Dark Applier and Chargy. And Springtrap now hooks the leg. That's one, two, and Business Turtle is the first one eliminated in this match. That's a bad day for Business Turtle. <laughs> it's a bad day for Business Turtle. And now here comes Chargy, the new N100K champion. Going in, trying to work over Springtrap here. As Chargy in the first match injured his wrist. Go for the flame wheel kick, but hang on a second. There's a rock bottom. Chargy with his finisher. Where did that come from? Springtrap into leg two. And Chargy. Oh, I think Chargy was going to even up the odds there, but Springtrap just kicking out. Uh, Chargy injuring his wrist or his arm, flying off the top rope with the, uh, with the flame wheel kick. And as you see, just those, those chops, there's not enough power behind them. And now Springtrap. Oh, did you see that sneaky little foxy? Sly little foxy. Sending Springtrap to the outside and now Springtrap tagging in Foxy. And Foxy flying outside, just taking out everyone, teammates in charge all in one go. And now you need to watch out for Foxy, probably the slyest member of the Five Nights in Freddy's crew here. Look at him trying to just, just disposing of Char Charge again. Just won the N100K Championship. Also injured in the process, but Chargy has a lot of guts, a lot of heart, and a lot of determination. Do not write off this Charmander-headed little son of a gun just yet. But look at Foxy. See Foxy against Sly, cunning little fox, working straight on that injured arm of Chargy. Rings that arm, crossbody. Chargy's in a lot of trouble here at N100K champion as Foxy praying on Chargy, maybe going for the spear, his finisher here, but Chargy reverses into a DDT! Chargy with a DDT, out of nowhere, planting Foxy, hits him with a spine buster, look at Chargy go, the new N100K champion, really representing the Heroes division, strongly here, and now going for his finisher, rock bottom, hits it! And look at Bonnie, trying to get in the ring here, and then Chargy spotting that, and just giving him a nice old knuckle sandwich for a good measure, cheek and knock down as well, Foxy is on his back. But did Chargy take too long with the pin here? One, two, and Foxy is eliminated by Chargy. Almost burped. <laughs> Almost burped in excitement. And oh, look at this. Oh, no. Speaking of excitement. Chargy almost went for a cent on. The spring trap caught him and suplexed him to the outside. Oh, and Chargy is in. Big trouble here. That entire, there's three of the Five Nights at Freddy's crew just mugging Chargy here. The N100K champion managed to eliminate Foxy, but this doesn't look good for Chargy here. He's just been choke slammed through a table by Chica and slung in the ring. Was he slung in like steaming hot garbage? That's what it was in old Chargy. Oh, look, that is a unique pinning combination. And that's one two and that's three and Chargy after going through one match and winning the N100K Championship and oh wait hello a second Mark Plyer out of nowhere with a phenomenal forearm KOing Chica one two and now we've got two on two here Mark Plyer Dark Plyer versus Bonnie and Springtrap oh, literally take Bonnie to the hospital he must be dead that clothesline must have taken his head off because that was savage. Literally how his body still stood up. That was one of the damnedest clotheslines I've seen in all sports entertainment, people. In 20 years of broadcasting, I've never seen a clothesline just like that. As Mark Plyer goes up top here, frog splash onto Bonnie. And Bonnie take him out of here on a stretch of two. And that's... Oh, Bonnie's kicked out! Holy smokes! I don't know how anyone's kicking out after that clothesline, man. Oh, mate, it's a right hand. Mark Plyer just slugging him. Acid Rainmaker sitting Bonnie down. Mark Plyer has been on top form since disposing of Bennett Foddy and his little hammer slinging Diogenes little son of a gun. And now Mark Plyer, who's the inform YouTuber at the moment now, is setting his sights on the spring trap and recording an important victory and a massive shot of confidence down to the, uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's crew here. Springtrap now being brought to his feet. 
Oh, there was Springtrap managing to wriggle out of it. Armbar takedown to Mark. Smart move by Springtrap, trying to disable that phenomenal forearm. And now Springtrap with the higher ground inside the ring. This is a two-on-one situation for Springtrap, though. Darkaplier and Markiplier versus Springtrap. As Markiplier flies in the ring here, but wait, what a sec, what is this? Darkaplier with Bennett Foddy's Yosemite Hammer. Darkaplier blindsiding Markiplier. We thought these two had an alliance. We thought there was an understanding through to the faction wars. But it looks like that maybe the villains have got to Darkaplier. And Darkaplier's villainous and evil ways have come to the forefront once again. Oh my days, more hammer shots to Markiplier. And oh my days, Derek Nelson's not safe. And Darkaplier with a hammer shot to Derek Nelson and he's been disqualified. Darkaplier getting himself disqualified. And Springtrap with a big, big choke slam to Markiplier. Not this way! Not this way! No! And Springtrap! And the Five Nights at Freddy's crew record a crucial victory after Markiplier came to the aid of Chargy and Business Turtle. But he did not foresee the fact that Darkaplier was going to turn his back on him. Which, thinking about it, given the name Darkaplier, maybe should have seen coming. But this series will roll on. The official trailers will be dropping soon, guys. Um, uh, so apologies for no video yesterday. Um, you might see by the different background. I've uh, had to come back for Bri to Bristol. I am back in my home home at the moment. Hence the different background and hence why there was no video yesterday because snow and stuff. But I uh, hope you guys are awesome. We're going to be trying to do some more videos over the weekend for you guys to make up for it. There we are, excellent. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.